Lainey Saunders, is that you again? Lainey, you are in every single one of my classes. I love it. We're going to give people a couple of minutes before we get started. Um, for the people who are here, this is ABS. And it probably will not take us very long. Actually, it definitely won't take us very long. Lainey, you're going to be like shredded at the end of quarantine. I swear you are in every single class that I post. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start explaining for the people who are here. Again, this is abs. No equipment. For one of the things, you might want to have a wall nearby, but you don't need to have a wall nearby. It just is helpful, I think. So we have four circuits. The first one is cardio, and then the next three are all abs. Um, all, oh no, just kidding. The cardio one is going to be 30 seconds per exercise. There's three exercises and a 30 second break repeated three times. And then the three ab circuits are going to be 30, three exercises, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and then repeated three times with no super long break. So there's no 30 second break in the ab circuits. It's just 30 on, 10 off, over and over and over until we've done it all three times. By the end of it, hopefully, your abs will be burning and you'll have a super strong core, which is super important for gymnastics and cheerleading. So, first we're gonna start with cardio. Our first exercise, hi Caitlin Carroll, good to see you. Um, first exercise is gonna be five high knees into five mountain climbers. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Get down, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm not gonna lie, every time I do this, I count it differently, so if you wanna count one, two, three, that's fine. And if you want to count one, two, three, that is also fine. Because every time I do this, I count it differently. So however you want to count it is fine. The second exercise is going to be lunge jacks. So instead of doing jumping jacks, you're going to do lunge jacks. So from the side, it looks like this. Lunge, lunge. But your arms are doing jumping jack arms. And then the third and final cardio exercise is going to be half turn, half turn, candlestick jump. So you're going to jump half turn. Jump, half turn, candlestick, jump. And we'll do that for 30 seconds, and then I'll we'll repeat the whole thing three times. So, I'm gonna set our timer. And we will start with the high knees into mountain climbers. In, doubling, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, four, five, up, one, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, four, five, keep going, go about five seconds, and time, into our lunge jacks. Make sure that your lunges are nice and wide and you're not letting your knee pass your toes. Also keep your chest up. I'm not bending over when I reach down. I'm keeping my chest here the whole time. Five more seconds. Time, half turn, half turn, candlestick jumps. Half turn, half turn, candlestick, jump. Half turn, half turn, candlestick, jump. And then we'll do the whole thing two more times. Whew. Full disclosure, I ate a whole bunch of M&Ms right before this. That was a huge mistake. I'm regretting it. Also regretting pants, it's hot. Five more seconds. Ready? 
and go. One, two, three, four, five. Drop. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it going. Uh, ten more seconds. And time, lunge jacks. What hurts your core leg? We haven't actually started abs yet. This is just cardio, lady. If your core hurts, you're in for a really long conditioning video. Five. And half turning candlestick jumps. Try not to stop. We're halfway through. Remember not to use your hands to stand up, use your legs. Five. seconds of a break and then one last time through the cardio circuit Whew. this is a good cardio circuit I'm, I'm quite warm my legs are tired five more seconds and then we are back to our high knees get ready go one two three four Five mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Oh, lady, my legs hurt too. Four, five mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Time, lunge, let's go. Nice and low every time, but keeping your chest up. It's the last time you have to do this, and you're halfway through already. No stopping. Keep it going. We're almost through. Couple more seconds. Time. Half turning candlestick jumps. Go. Already halfway through. Five. Time. Woo. Okay. Done with cardio. Thank goodness. Because I hate cardio. Okay. I'm gonna bring you guys down to the floor with me. Okay. All right. My my regular disclaimer in every video. These videos are the only cardio I do in my whole entire life. So I'm always dying when we finish. Anyways. And yes, Lainey, this is a strength and conditioning class. Pretty sure that you have finished all of your strength and conditioning classes on your checkoff sheet by now. You've been in all of them. Okay. Anyways, moving on to abs. We again have three circuits. Each circuit has three exercises. We're gonna do 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. For each exercise, repeated three times. There is no long break. Usually my conditioning circuits have a 30 second break. Well, when you finish all the exercises, you get a 30 second break. We're not going to take a 30 second break today for our abs. The reason is because we don't really have any holds today. Um, and when we work abs, we want to work upper abs, 
lower abs, obliques, but also stability and hold and endurance. Um, so being able to hold a shape for a long amount of time takes endurance in your muscles, not endurance like running, but enduring through your endurance of your muscles. Um, and we're not doing any holds today. So instead you're gonna build endurance by just continuously working your abs for the next uh, like 12 minutes. So here we go. Circuit one, we're gonna start with knee hugs. This is very important. If you have not done knee hugs with me before, these are like my staple when it comes to abs because they train you to have the correct shape. If your lower back has ever hurt when you're doing abs, it's probably because you don't have good shaping. Um, sorry, responding to Lainey's comment, um, you have to do however many it says, like three or four per week for two weeks. So that would be eight total on your checkoff sheet. So if you did two last week and six this week, that's still eight total. As long as you've gotten your total um, strength and condition classes on your checkoff sheet, you're good to go. Anyways, back to abs. So we want to work on having correct shape and we want to start with that so that we can use that shape for the rest of our ab training. So a knee hug, you're going to lay down on your back and you're going to bring your knees up. And now a lot of people, when they lay down on their back, they have this space underneath their back. And that's where we start to get issues. When you are working a muscle, think like, we're getting a little off track, but that's okay. When you use your arm muscle, right, you're pulling it in and you're squeezing it because it's contracting right here. So you see it get bigger because it's contracting. When we use our abs, when we contract them, it's this way. So you're pushing them into your spine. That strengthens them. But if you're laying on the floor in an arch, now they're coming out this way and your spine is pushing into your abs, which is the opposite of what you want. And it's going to hurt and it's not going to make your abs stronger. So we're going to work on pushing this space out by grabbing your knees and then you're going to pull your knees away from you while you're using your arms to pull them back in. So my arms and legs are pulling against each other. And when I do that, I eliminate this space down here and it pulls my shoulder blades up off the floor into a nice round shape. And then we're just going to let go of our legs and pull them back in. And that's all the knee hug is. If that's super easy for you and you've already got that shape down, keep your legs lower as you go out and just make sure that you have no space under here. If that's easy, you can use your arms too to go like this. But the whole time, everything that my shirt is touching stays in the same place. My shirt is not moving through all of knee hugs. So all that to say, exercise one is knee hugs. Exercise two is going to be tuck out to tuck up. So we are going to start here again, like a knee hug. You're going to tuck out and then tuck up. So tuck out, tuck up for 30 seconds. If you are working on standing or running tucks, this is a good one for you, especially. And then our third exercise is Russian twists, which is where you sit up, feet are off the floor, and you're going to twist your whole body. So it's not just your arms, your whole body back and forth and tap the floor with your hands on each side. Again, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, over and over and over until we've done the whole circuit three times. Whew, okay, that was a lot of talking. Hopefully we've all got the exercises now. We are gonna start in three, and grab your knees, release, pull back, release, Pull back and again I'm saying low because I've worked on this shape you know forever but if you're new to it keep your legs going up high and don't even move your arms just right here and your focus is pushing your belly button into the floor so that you have no space underneath your spine here five and time ten second break and then we're gonna do Tuck up, tuck out to tuck ups. Get ready. And go. Tuck out, tuck up. Out, up. Over and over. Also notice I'm not using my hands. They're not down here. I have them back here behind my head to make it a little harder. Five more seconds. And time. 10 second break. And then we start our Russian twist in three. And go. Feet are up. Twist your whole entire body. Make your hands actually touch the floor on both sides every time. 
If this is way too hard for you, you can put your feet down, but make sure you're still leaning back because that's how we engage our core. So I'm not sitting up here. That's not really doing much. You want to be leaning backwards. We have five more seconds. And time. 10 second break into our knee hugs again. This will be our round two, starting in three. And go. Release and back. Again, remember the point of this one is to work on that shape, keeping your lower back on the floor. That's what your focus is. If it comes up, return to that position where you're pulling your hands in and pulling your legs away. It'll help you round out and then hold that shape. 10 more seconds. Time, 10 second break. And then we'll do our tuck outs, tuck ups. And go, tuck out, tuck up. Tuck out, tuck up. Halfway through, don't forget to breathe. Five. Time, 10 second break into our Russian twist. reaching. I want you to actually touch the floor on both sides. And remember, you should be hovering your feet unless you really, really, really can't. Halfway through. Five. And time. 10 second break into our last round, starting with knee hugs again. Get ready, three, and go. Grab those knees, release, contract. Release, contract. If you started out hard, but now your abs are burning, you can go back to putting your legs out higher. If you found that these are getting easier as you go, you can start putting your legs down lower, which is where it's the most difficult. We've got five more seconds. Time, 10 second break, and then we'll do our tuck outs, tuck ups. Three, and go. Tuck out and up, and my feet are never touching the floor. I'm hovering my feet, candle sit. Hovering my feet, candle sit. No hands. 10 more seconds. Three. Time. Whew, 10 second break into our Russian twist. And go. Twist, twist. If this is where your abs are really starting to burn on this last round, you can put your feet down, but again, you wanna be leaning here, not sitting up straight. You wanna be leaned back. And that's how we engage our core. 10 more seconds. Three. And time. All right. We have finished circuit one or two. We are halfway through our workout. I'm going to do a quick seal stretch, stretch out our abs because we still have two more circuits of abs to do. And again, the reason that we're doing all this abs is not so that you can have a super cool six pack in the summer, but we're doing it because when we're doing gymnastics and cheer, it's very important to have a strong core as a base holding your flyer, as a flyer trying to balance, as a gymnast trying to balance, everybody in there tumbling. It's very important. 
bars especially, you have to be able to hold that shape as you're coming up and around the bar, so you need to have a strong core, which is why we're doing all this core work. Okay. Um, Lainey, Brooke is not able to go live, so she did one stretch class that she pre-recorded and posted, and you just do that one over and over. She's not making a new one because she doesn't have good enough internet connection. So uh, if you want her flex class, you have to go back and find that video, which should be on our page under media, videos, and then just look for Brooke. Okay, moving on to the third circuit. We're gonna start with supersets. If you're one of my gymnasts, you know what these are. Um, if you're not, they're gonna seem very confusing until we start them and then they're really not that confusing. It just sounds like a lot of numbers, but it's basically moving in small increments, which is why there's gonna sound like there's a lot of numbers. We're gonna start feet on the floor, laying down flat. When I sit up, my feet will come up off of the floor. That's not because you have to, mine just do that. So you can leave them flat on the floor if you want, or you can lift them up like I do. We're gonna sit up, one, two, three, and now I'm sitting up with my back, lean back, we're gonna rush and twist. One, two, three, four, hold it, leaning back. One, two, three, down. One, two, three. So sit up, one, two, three, twist. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, down. One, two, three. Again, sounds confusing. I'll be doing it with you. It's not that confusing once you start, you get the pattern pretty quickly. So that's for 30 seconds, 10 second break into starfish sit-ups. These ones are not too hard because we needed a little bit of uh, ab break in here, but they definitely still engage your core. So we're gonna lay down flat like a starfish. I'm gonna take my right hand, touch my left foot, go back down and switch. And we'll do that for 30 seconds. Then a 10 second break into our third exercise, which is ankle tappers. This one is for obliques. And again, it's not too hard because our abs are starting to burn but you can still definitely feel it. I'm gonna move my feet in as close to my booty as I can, and they're slightly apart, and then I'm gonna make L shapes with my hands, and I'm gonna lift my chest up, or my shoulders up off the floor, and tap my thumb to my ankle bone, it needs to touch, and then the other side, and lift, and lift. And you'll see I'm not just going side to side. When I come up, I'm actually twisting a little bit to that side, down, up and twist, down, up and twist. A lot of people just go side to side. You wanna be up and twisting to fully engage your abs. So, those are our three exercises this time. Same setup as last time, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We will start with supersets. I will count them out because they can be a little confusing at first. And we will start in three, two, one, and go. Sit up, one, two, three. Twist, one, two, three, four. Hold it, one two, three, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, twist, one, two, three, four, hold it, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, twist, one, two, three, four, hold it, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, twist, one, two, three, that's time, moving on, in five seconds, starting with our Starfish, ready, and go. Opposite hand to opposite foot, and then returning to that starfish shape. Kicking my wall back here. Ugh. Halfway through. And you can use that hand that's on the floor and the other foot to help kind of support you as you lift. Five. Time, Ugh. ankle tappers. Again, move your heels as close to your booty as you can. And we'll start in three, and go. Twist and lift, twist and lift. Make sure that you're touching that thumb to your actual ankle bone every time. Can't see. Halfway through. Reach, reach, reach. Get that thumb to your heel or your ankle bone. Five more seconds. Lift and twist, lift and twist. Time. 10 second break, back into our supersets. This time I'll count the first one or two and then let you start to set your own pace. 
or if you've already got the pace, you can go on your own. Ready? Sit up. One, two, three. Twist. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three. Down. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three more seconds. And time, back into our starfish. In three, and go. Hand to foot, back to starfish. Hand to foot, back to starfish. Make sure you're sitting up all the way with your chest. See, I'm sitting up all the way. You're not just touching that foot. You want to sit up every time. It's like alternating V-ups, but with a little bit of hand support. Five more seconds. And time. 10 second break into our ankle tappers. Bring those heels in as close to your booty as you can. In three. Get your L's and go. Twist and lift, twist and lift. Remember, you're not just tapping side to side. You're twisting and lifting the opposite shoulder off of the floor so that you're crossing an engagement across your abs. Ten more seconds. Two. Time. Ten second break. <laughs> and then into our last time through this circuit. Kaylin, it does hurt. I know my abs are burning too, but it'll be worth it when you're done. Okay, get ready. Three. And super set. Sit up. One, two, three. Twist. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three. Down. One, two, three. Keep going on your own pace. Ten more seconds. Take these nice and slow. They shouldn't be fast. And time. Ten second break into our last round of starfish sit-ups. Three. And go. Hand to foot. Lay down. Hand to foot. Ten more seconds. Keep it moving. Sit all the way up every time. Almost done. Three. Time. Ten second break into our ankle tappers. Last one on this circuit. Three. And go. Get your L's up. Lift and twist. Again, make sure that you're squeezing your core. Every time it's like a mini crunch to the side. Not even really a side. It's like a kind of a twisty crunch. Ten more seconds. You're almost done with this round. And then you get a break. Three. And time. Done with that round. We are on to the very last one. Take a second to do seal stretch. If your obliques hurt, you can turn your seal stretch to the side and get the sides stretched out too. <sighs> Take some deep breaths, get some oxygen in those abs. All right. While you are taking a break, I'm going to go ahead and explain our fourth and final ab circuit. Again, set up the exact same way. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, repeat it over and over. I'm out of water, so thank goodness this is the end of the video. All this talking makes my mouth dry. Okay, so the first one is definitely going to be the hardest one of the circuit. I'm actually going to turn you guys because I am going to use some wall space for this one. And like I said, you don't need to have a wall 
I just think that it's helpful for the third exercise, but you definitely don't need it if you don't have one ready. So the first one's gonna be opposite elbow to knee. Um, normally I would make my gymnast start in a hollow hold and do these elbow to knee, but at this point our abs are already pretty toasted and we're gonna continue toasting them. So you can leave your feet down flat and lay down flat on the floor and then sit up, opposite elbow to knee, down, opposite elbow to knee, and down. If you have a super crazy strong core and you're feeling good right now and you don't need to lay down flat on the floor, an extra challenge would be going from here to here and back down, never touching shoulder blades or feet to the floor. But you don't have to do that because again, this is a lot of abs. Second exercise isn't that difficult, but it definitely burns. We're gonna be doing flutters. So you can choose whether you wanna be in a hollow hold or you can put your shoulder blades and hands down on the floor. And then you're just gonna flutter your feet one on top of the other like this. It's very small, they're not huge flutters. It's just a little tiny switch like this for 30 seconds. The third and final exercise is going to be a lying pike toe tapper. So this is where I'm gonna use wall space, but you definitely don't need to. If you are using the wall, you're gonna put your booty all the way up against the wall, heels against the wall, flex your feet, and you're gonna sit up and touch your toes every time. If you don't have a wall, you'll just go from here and reach up for your feet. But when you do that, it kind of makes you start to uh, lean your legs every time. So then you have to sit up a little bit further and then you start leaning a little bit further. And it just becomes a complicated game of strength versus flexibility and I am not flexible. So the wall helps keep me from moving my legs every time I try to reach for my feet. Okay, those are our three exercises. This is our last round. <laughs> Caitlin, it's not painful. Well, okay, I can't say it's not painful. It's gonna burn your abs, but it's not a bad kind of painful. Okay, starting with opposite elbow to knee. Starting in two, one, and go. Elbow to knee, down. You'll see I'm actually touching that elbow to my knee every time. Remember, this is your own pace. So if you're good to go, you can speed up. If your abs are burning, you can slow down. Just try not to stop moving the whole time. 10. into the flutters. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up in the comments. And go. I'm gonna leave my hands down because my abs are burning and you're just gonna flutter in place. You can even lay your head down on the floor but if you do that, make sure that you're keeping the space out from underneath your back so you don't hurt your back. Halfway through. You have five, and time. Ooh, get ready for your toe tappers. Also, bear in mind when you do these, you're gonna have a tendency to slide out, so you have to scoot back in. And go. I'm not flexible enough to reach my feet. Ugh. Also, banging on my door, scoot over. Ooh. There we go. Now just bang it on the wall. Five more seconds. And time. Whew. Back into our opposite elbow to me. And now go. Elbow to knee and down. Remember, you can slow down if you need to, or speed up if you're feeling good. But if you still feel good in your abs, I feel like you did not do the other circuits well because your abs should be burning by now. 10 more seconds. Five. And time. 10 seconds into your flutters. Um, quick note, if you're doing the flutters and your back hurts and you're not able to push it into the floor like we worked on at the beginning, go ahead and start. Then you can do your flutters up a little bit higher here and that will help you round out to the floor. They should be down here, but if that hurts your back, lift your feet up a little bit until you work on that knee hug shape a little bit more. Ten. 
10 more seconds. Three. And time. Into your pipeline toe tappers. In three. And go. Ew, dog hair. Try to knock out as many of these as you can. Remember, we're almost done. We have 10 more seconds. And time. Back into our opposite elbow to knee. This is our last round. You're almost done with your ab workout. <sighs> And go. Last time doing these, give it your all. Ooh, my voice cracked a little bit there. That's cute. Halfway through. Five. And time. Whew. 10 second break into our flutters. We are almost finished, you guys. Three and go. Oh no, that's green. Keep going. My timer went black. You're halfway through. You are almost done with flutters. Five. And time. Last ab exercise, guys. We're almost through. Go ahead and get ready for those toe tappers. We'll start in three. And go. Lift. Lift. Try to lift as high as you can. As high as your Flexibility lets you go. I am not flexible, but you're halfway through. Three. And time. We are done with abs. Good job, you guys. All that rolling is really messing with my hair. Okay, do some steel stretches. Drink some water, be proud of yourselves. That was a really good ab workout, by which I mean it burned. You should all have super strong cores. You'll probably be sore tomorrow. You're welcome. But thank you guys for joining me. Congrats on making it through. <laughs> Lainey, you're funny. All right, I'll see you guys next time.